Greetings everyone and welcome to Pleasures Deliciously, a channel with simple recipes and treats for the home cook. I think every home cook needs a good recipe for a classic chocolate cake and that's what we'll be creating today. This chocolate cake is made with a high quality cocoa powder, lending it a rich chocolatey flavor, the kind that warms the soul, uplifts the spirit, and pleasures the taste buds deliciously. As always, if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get into the recipe. For the classic chocolate cake, I need two cups of sugar, one and three fourth cups of all-purpose flour, three fourth cup of high quality cocoa, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. I will also need two eggs, one cup of buttermilk, a half cup of melted butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of instant coffee crystals, and one cup of boiling water. I preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare two 9-inch round cake pans by spraying each one generously with baking spray. I whisk together sugar, flour, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, and salt in a large bowl. I add eggs, buttermilk, melted butter and vanilla and I mix well with a large wooden spoon I add instant coffee to my cup of boiling water Pour it immediately into the cake batter. And mix very well. The batter will be thin. I pour the batter into my prepared pans. I bake my cakes for 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick insert it into the center comes out clean. I allow them to cool completely on a wire rack. Okay everyone, while the cakes are cooling, we're going to move on to the chocolate buttercream frosting. For the frosting, I will need a half a cup of soft butter, three cups of powdered sugar, a half cup of cocoa, a third cup of milk, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I place the butter in a bowl and cream it by hand with a wooden spoon. Then I add the sugar 
and the cocoa. And continue to mix. I add in my milk a little at a time and mix. Now I add in the vanilla and mix with a whisk until the frosting is smooth and creamy. Just look at this thick, creamy frosting. I could eat it right off the spoon. It's time to frost the cakes. There you have it everyone, a classic chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream frosting. I guarantee this cake will satisfy all of your cravings for a sweet chocolatey treat and you will be crooning. It pleasures deliciously.